How we doing? Got a quick story today. We're going back to 1993, and it was the it was called the Spring Jam 1993. And what's weird about them calling it the Spring Jam was it was in September. Uh, I think we were there like on the 25th, which would have been a Saturday. 25th, or 26th. Yeah, I think it was the 25th because 24th, 25th, 26th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it's a, I don't know if they still have it or not, but it was in, um, it was in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, they had a, you know, they have a big thing, have a bunch of different bands. They close off part of downtown Jackson. Matter of fact, that's one of the first times, or the only time I'd ever been actually downtown, downtown Jackson. But the reason why we went to there we wanted to see brother kane uh me Lori, uh rick moreland and mary moreland we all four went down there and i'm sure we got a room driving to jackson but we went down to see brother kane uh they were playing the festival and like i said me and Lori, of course rick and mary saw him several times too but me and Lori saw him a bunch of times we saw brother kane a whole bunch of times uh, as a matter of fact, I'll tell some more stories about that at some point. But anyway, uh, but the part I wanted to tell about was that there was another person playing the show that Brother Kane played right before him. And, you know, there's times in your life where, you know, you're making, by going and seeing somebody, from the old days, you're making history for yourself because, you know, you can talk about Little Richard to young people now, and they don't have a clue who you're talking about. <laughs> Most of them don't have a clue who Little Richard was. But Brother Kane was opening for Little Richard. Now, I have seen a lot of these older people these older artists from back in the day i have seen a lot of them one of them is thanks to memphis and may i'll tell about that sometime too but we got to see little richard now back on brother kane brother kane done a great show as a matter of fact before the show me and rick was standing over by the fence there and we were looking at their bus and everything and roman glick we saw roman and we kind of hollered at him he came over and stood at the fence and talked to us for a few minutes. You know, it always bugs me when there's artists that acts like they're too good to come and talk to people that come to see them at a show. And Roman wouldn't like that. He was not like that. Now Damon's not like that. Uh, I, I can't say I can't say about uh, Glenn Maxey, or I can't say about uh, Scott Collier because I never got to talk to them. Uh, I never met them. Now, I will say that uh, <laughs> my phone started sliding away. I will say that Glenn, I have talked with him on uh, Facebook. I have talked with him on Facebook. So, you know, he will talk to me too. Matter of fact, Glenn's back playing with Damon. But anyway, uh, we talked to Roman, super nice guy. Of course, Roman's not in the band anymore. Uh, I guess he still plays for Jackal. He went to play with Jesse Dupree and plays for Jackal. Uh, anyway, at this time, Roman was still playing rhythm guitar. And he is actually a bass player. Uh, he was actually a bass player. Uh, but Glenn was playing bass, so Roman was on guitar. Uh, later on, David Anderson took, took Roman's place and Roman jumped over to bass after Glenn left the band. But anyway, they put on a great show. I, matter of fact, I took several pictures there. Some pretty good pictures. I got a chance one time, actually, to even show Damon those pictures. But anyway, Little Richard comes out. And I've, I've even seen James Brown. I've seen James Brown. I've seen Al Green. I've seen all these guys. When James Brown came out at Memphis in May, he comes out every... I'm talking about he had wind instruments. He had all this every single person on the stage done a solo before he hit the stage. Little Richard done the same thing. He had wind instruments and all. He didn't have quite as big a band as 
uh, James Brown, but he did have a nice band. And Little Richard comes out. After all of them's done a solo, he comes out, he gets at the piano, and I'm talking about he tears that piano up. And I mean, he's really good. And the guy then had to be, this has been, this was 93, okay? What, not, this has been, you know, I mean, 93, I mean, you're talking about 20, what, 27, nine years ago? And I'm talking about, he was really good. Except for something bugged me to no end. And I was like, there's something, because, now I don't mean this in a, I don't mean this in a derogatory way or a bad way, but he was walking funny. Yeah, I mean, he was walking funny. When he would walk across the stage, it was almost like, it's almost like he was walking on his tiptoes. And I was like, me and Rick talked about it, and I, I kept looking, me and Lori talked about it, I said, what? And then I recognized it. Then I saw. I noticed something, and I hate to stoop to, because he put on a great show. His voice was on, he, I mean, he was good. Now, it looked like he had used a putty knife to put his makeup on, and he had that, but he done a great show. I hate to nit nitpick it apart, but it was a very curious thing because he was called Little Richard. He was wearing boots, like cowboy boots. And I got to noticing that where his knee should be bending was not where his knee was bending. I got to noticing his knee was bending about middle ways of where your thigh would be. Then I figured out, why was he walking funny? Because he had lifts in his boots. And he was they were lifted up probably this high inside the boots. So his knee was up where about middle ways of where his thigh would be in his pants. So little Richard was taller Richard. <laughs> he was wearing lifts in his boots. That's why he was walking funny. And you can see, after that, I could see his knee bending and it was up about middle ways where his thigh should be. So, you know, it was pretty, it was pretty wild. Great show. Very entertaining. Very good show. Brother Kane put on a great show and Little Richard put on a great show. You know, I don't want to it makes me think of some other people I know you, they can't listen or hear the show for looking at something peculiar or seeing something that caught their attention and that was one thing that caught my attention and I, I had to talk about it I never really talked about it much to anybody but just a few people And but it, 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 it was kind of funny because I guess he was really short I don't know how short he was I guess he was really short but he wasn't cutting it any slack he had them boots with them lifts in it and he was putting the show on. He wouldn't let nothing hold him back. He was putting the show on. He was decked out. I can't remember for sure, but I think his whole suit was gold. I believe it was gold. And I'm talking about, he would rock in the boots. This has been another segment from the steering wheel commentator. Hey, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification button and don't forget to share it with somebody else. We'll see y'all next time.